to you about the uh, okay again uh, discuss uh, by using the same question but different methods okay this one by using financial calculator okay uh, and then the bottom here is by using excel microsoft excel beside uh, you from from the example okay you should understand that when we are dealing with this kind of of equation there will be given for you whether this is future value whether it is present value whether it is time whether it is interest or whether it is n okay so for this particular example this question would like to ask n okay would like to ask n the question will give you all the things future value present value uh, the t is stand for what t is t is stand time basically t is time so i need to, to take out the t here okay. okay so it is given to you i which is percentage here. Okay, it is given. So what this question want to ask you is and how much the time which uh, uh, okay, which it says that over here if the sales grow at 20% per year. So I is 20% the interest of which our sales will grow again okay. and then the question asks you how much how long how long the time it takes long here yeah. which means you want to know and how long although you know what is here you don't know future value and present value it is not given here but you should understand from the words double sale will be double so if let's say future uh, if you are thinking of present value is one so the future value will be two because it will be double okay so please look at this particular example here okay you put here i interest per year is 20 present value is negative one payment is zero future value is two so you press n and you get the answer is 3.8 that is the year if you want to use the normal method what you need to do is you need to use the formula here whether you want to use a future or present value is up to you so i'm using a future value equal to present value one plus r power of n so future value is 2 equal 1 1 plus r is 1.2 power of n n we don't know so what you need to do over here is you need to use a log uh, log 2 log 2 equal to and log 1.2 over here. Maybe I need to put a bracket. This is okay. If you solve this particular example, okay, and is equal to log 2 divided by 1.2 we will get the answer here okay guys again it is easier for you to use a calculator right we move on to another subtopic subtopic here is on annuity which is number three a N N U I T 
this is annuity, which I, I have explained to you. Annuity is Oops, wow, what is happening? I totally press the button. I don't know, okay. Accidentally press the button then. Okay, so an IT. First, the definition of an IT will be the same. Amount of payment. Okay. The second, same duration. Example, let's say salary. Hmm. Uh, car loan. Okay, that is the example. So it means the amount need to be same, the duration need to be same. Amount, let's say you are paying payment for your car loan is 1000. So 1000, which repeat every month, every the end of the month or maybe early of the month. So that is, we call it annuity. Okay, beside that, what else? Pension. Pension also. Same, it is annuity. But annuity can be divided into two. There are two types of annuity. First, normal or ordinary. The second one is annuity due. What does it mean by normal annuity? Normal annuity payment at end of period. Okay, while for annuity due payment at beginning. Okay, keyword is in and begin. This is the keyword. Okay, if you can see here, ordinary annuity. This is annuity deal. Okay, ordinary it means the payment for this period is happen over here. Okay. For this period, the payment is here. However, for the annuity due, for one year period, the payment need to be at the beginning of the month. Let's say for one year, okay, if the frequency is yearly, so the payment need to be due at, at January. Okay, for this one, the payment is at December. This one, the payment is at January. So let's have a look at the ordinary annuity. This is the example of ordinary annuity. Okay. This is ordinary annuity. So by using a this one by using a financial calculator. So how 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 you want to do by using uh, method one? Annuity calculation. Okay. By using method one. 
method one by using formula. So what is the formula? Okay, if you want to know the formula again, you need to look at the table basically. So the, the, the question asks you about solving for the future value. This one is future value annuity. Okay, future value annuity. Future value annuity by using method one, by using a formula. So we look at the future value. So this is present value, present value annuity. Where is the future value annuity? Okay, this is future value annuity. The formula is like this. Okay, over here. 1 plus k power of n minus 1 divided by k. So, future value annuity is equal to 1 minus k power of minus 1. Is it? Is it 1? How, how, how the formula? 1 plus k power of n. K. K is basically e. Let's say uh, I'm not using k. So 1 plus r. Huh? To be consistent, 1 plus r power of n minus 1 divided by r. This is formula for future value annuity. So can we try to solve this one? Let's try. Oh, where is the present value? Put the present value here. PV. PV. Okay. So the present value is one hundred times one point one power of 3 minus 1 divided by 0 0.10 which is 1 0 plus can someone help me siapa boleh tolong saya please calculate it for me Hmm. Ahmad Zakwan. Ahmad Zakwan, are you there? Ah, uh, hello, doctor. Yes. Can you can can you this one? Okay. Three hundred and thirty-one. Three hundred and thirty-one. So we get the same answer. Three hundred and thirty-one point zero. Same as here. How about uh, everybody else? Yang lain macam mana? You get the same answer. So this is by using method one. Okay, good. Okay, how about method? How about we try to use method two, uh, method four? Method four. How to use method four? Future value annuity equal to uh, present value 
180. Basically, we need, we need to put A over here also. Okay. Present value 180 times future value 180 interest factor. I and this is how we wrote down. So PVA is 100. So what need to do next? Go to the table FVI. A. This is FVIFA over here. Look at look at 10 percent and row three, three point three one. Can you get that? 3.31 over here. Over here, 3.31. So, 3.31. The answer will be 300. Is it the same? 3.31. 3, 3, 3, 3 this one will be 331. Uh, just now it is three 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 or three three one. Huh? Ahmad Zakwan, the answer just now that you gave me is it three hundred three three one or three hundred thirty three? Three hundred and thirty one. Oh, thirty one. Oh, I okay, think sorry. it's uh, typo, doctor. Typo, right? Sorry for that. Three hundred and one okay one zero same answer okay if you are using method number two which is by using calculator like this this is calculator and this is excel this is calculator Right, method one. This is method three. Now this is two. This is three. And this is four. Method four. Okay, this is again for this one. This one is uh, is the future. Value annuity. We are under annuity, but we are calculating future value annuity. This one we are calculating present value annuity. Okay, so how to calculate by using method one? one formula again what we need to do is look at the formula present value annuity this is formula value annuity one oh is it one minus the whole thing there the formula will be one minus one plus k power of n am i am i correct one minus one minus one plus k one one minus one one over or one over is different One minus one over one plus half power of n. Am I correct like that? One one minus one. Two different. Mm -hmm. 
like this one. Over here, it is. Ah, okay. Betul tak? Sama tak? Hmm? Am I correct or not? Semua senyap je. Here, set the picture because of the purpose. Yeah, this is a formula, but I don't know how to change this one. Take this one. Okay. Ah, I don't know how to to move it. But, mm. So this is the formula basically. text mode when I come to here it is not right this is formula hopefully it is true okay so what you need to do is you need to uh, put over here is feature value 180 feature value 180 we want to find present value 180 so it is equal to 100 times 1 minus 1 over 1.1 power of 3 divided by 1.10. Siapa nak tolong? Who, who want to uh, uh, help me? Oh, Shifa, can you can you help me, Shifa, to to calculate this one? Shifa. Yes, doctor. Yes, can you help me? Uh, Doctor, the answer yes. is two four eight point six. Two four eight point six. All right. So the answer is correct. Same as over here. Okay. So that's method number one. How about method number four? So for method number four, how you should root, uh, right? You should write present value on it equal to future value. It is not future. I think I need to correct this one. It is not future. Payment. Sorry. Oh, uh, we need to put over here his payment. P M T payment. Yeah. Payment times. Uh, present value interest factor annuity I N. Okay. 
So look at the table under present value annuity, 10% and row number three, 2.4869. 2.4869 over here. So the answer will be 248.69. Same. Okay, guys. So we move on to annuity due. This one is annuity due. Annuity due, which means the payment, same amount, same period, but during beginning of the time. So if you are using calculator, then you need to press begin the function in the calculator. We need to to tell the calculator this is not the normal one. We need to press begin. Tell them, try tell the calculator. Okay, so that is by using calculator. However, if you are using the the normal one using method number one, what you need to do is for future value. This is how you write down uh, method one by using a method one. Right, so we are using FV, FVA, future value annuity. You put over there due, stand for it is annuity due, and then you put future value ordinary, okay, which is same over here. This is uh, uh, future value and ordinary, all right, over here. This is future value and ordinary over here. The answer is like this. The process is the same, but what you need to put is the extra. Extra is here. This is the extra one. Okay, extra one period of time. Why? Why you need to put extra period of time? Please look at over here. Okay. For, for this particular example, right? For this particular example, maybe I need to draw this easier. Okay. One, two, three, zero, one, two, and three, right? So the payment is how much? Uh, this is uh, beginning, so it means that will be happen starting from year zero. How many times? It is three times. Okay, this is NETD. Okay, it is different. Right, so if it is annuity, annuity, uh, normal annuity, the Maybe I need to use different colors. Is it for you? Normal annuity. Zero, one, two. It is over here. One, two. Okay, the payment is three three times of 100 ringgit but it happened at a different different period okay for this it happened during at the beginning so it's like this if we invest for three years it means that okay for this one let's say for the first first 100 it will it will be like this one time Two time, three time. For the second one hundred, the investment will be one time and two time. 
invested 100, the investment will be only one time period of payment. As compared to over here, if we if you look at over here, okay, this one you have for first one you have one time, two time. And then for the second one only one time. So there is some some someone is missing. You have you got this one, you get this one. However, this one is missing. One extra period. So one extra period is missing. So that's one this is you need to put. One extra period. Yeah, okay, over here you need to time one plus R or one plus I. The answer will be like this. Clear? So again, this is. Uh, uh, present value annuity. Okay, annuity due from this one is future value. This one is present value. The process is the same. Right. This one. This one is normal. Okay, basically for this one, what you want to calculate is this is ordinary. Okay. Five year. One, two, three, four, five, zero. Oh, let me check two. So it is ordinary annuity, so it means happen during at the end of a year. How many times the payment? 100 times of payment repeated over five years. This, and then you want to calculate the present value, so you need to calculate this. You want to use one by one. If you want to use the formula, then again, we use the formula. Okay, it is easier for you to use the formula, formula one, or you can find, you can get the answer of present value. This is present value. Okay, you calculate the present value on it equal to payment. I'm using method four. Make it to make it simple payment. Present value interest factor annuity I N. Okay, try to find in the formula by you try to find the table there and then you get the answer. How about if it is 10 years, okay, again, by using a formula, what you need to change is over here. Okay, so again, let me okay. present value annuity equal to payment. What is it? Present value on it. Sorry, PBI. Present value PBI FA I and for this change the first one change into ten. The second one change to 25. Look at different uh, uh, column. How about if it is infinity? 
Oh, if infinity, then the answer or the formula will be like this. This is for perpetuity. Will be present value and it is equal to payment divided by R. This is formula for present value and perpetuity. Annuity perpetuity. It's, it's, it's like the payment will not end. The payment will be forever. So the formula will be like this. Are you okay? Now we move on to the We want to the compound interest. What does it mean by compound interest? Okay. For you to understand, let me show you a diagram. Meaning of compound interest. Okay, this is look at this example basically. Okay, let's say if you invest. Okay, this is your investment and the, the what is this, this green color at the bottom there is your principal. Let's say you invest $1,000 starting from today up until 20 years. So the amount will be the same, the principal. However, this is in, this is if the given which is no compound. What does it mean by no compound, interest no compound? It means that the interest is only given for the principal. Okay? The interest are only given for the principal. However, if the interests are on interest, the interests are given not only for the principal, but the interests are given also for the principal. So the amount will be like purple color. So this is the power of compound interest. Or in simplified term, we can, can say it is interest on interest. OK. If the interest on interest, then you will receive a lot or you will receive high investment. So let's have a look at this one. For example, eh? In this, for this particular example, discuss about power of compound interest. Please read this question. OK, let's say you are 20 year old student. You save three dollar per day. OK, you put in the drawer every day. So let's say in ringgit rm3 ringgit every day for one year 365 day you receive 1095 for one year okay and then at the end of the year okay you invest so this is your present value. At the end of the year, she invests the accumulated saving in a brokerage account at, with an expected return of 12,000. Okay, so what you do is you take your present value. This is your present value. 
1095 you invest at up 12% okay and then what is the end what is n how, how this is when you are 65 years old so now you are 20 years old so it means that 65 minus 20 so you are saving for 45 years okay so as i told you what you need to do is you need to draw a timeline 45 1 2 3 4 0 1 2 3 okay now you put at the end of the year it is like this okay 1 0 5 how much your money over here Uh, money over there so what you need to do is you need to calculate okay future value equal to the present value times one plus r power of n so you get 1.487262 so you become millionaire so now you are 20 right so what you need to do start saving three dollar per day and then when you your money reach one thousand two hundred you invest or one thousand one hundred you invest for 45 years when you are 65 let's say you are your pension at 65 your, your money will be 1.5 million right how about this is first scenario this is first scenario how about the second scenario over here second scenario it is not you it is me okay let's say i am 40 years old and then uh, i invest begin today okay and what do i need okay how much uh, she uh, begin saving today and stick to the plan he or she will have only 149 so what happened is if i'm doing it right now 1095 mine mine age is 40 so i only save 25 years so my investment future value will be only 146000 only Okay, so it is very much different from over here. Very different. Oh, sorry for this typo. Very different. Oh, we get it. between those okay that is second scenario 
And then for the third scenario, third scenario, it says here, I am 40 years old. Okay, I am 40 years old. I want only, I would like to invest only 25 years or 25 years. And I want the same amount as you. I want the amount, my future value. Oops. I want my future value of investment same as you which is 1.4 million plus so how much do i need to save now this is Okay. How much my payment now? Right. So this is we are still discussing about perpetuity. Uh, sorry, the annuity, right? So this first scenario. So I would like to make some correction. So the investment is yearly, right? It is every year, so you invest one zero nine five. This one also one zero nine five. You will repeat this every year. Okay. So this is the scenario also the same. Okay. If I invest only one zero nine five every year, but only for twenty five years. And, uh, for this particular third scenario, how much do I need to save every year to achieve the same amount as you? So the answer will be like this. I need to save every year. Okay, I need to save 11,500 plus per year for 25 years in order for me to achieve the same amount as you, which is 1.5 million. So the difference, it shows you the power of compounding, the power of interest on interest. The longer the interest on if for your investment, the higher the interest on interest. Therefore, you need to save at your earlier time, which is maybe you need to start saving now. Okay, yeah, guys. Are you still okay? Hmm? You want a break or not? Continue or break. Please give me some indication. You know. No rule. You want a break or you want to continue? No rule. Are you there? No rule. Yes, doctor. Mm, you want a break or you want to continue the class? Mm, up to you. Up to me. Okay, up to me. Then I'll continue the class. Right. So we continue the class. So next, what we discuss is for uneven, uneven. So I, I, I lost count. I think this one is subtopic number four. Okay, uneven. For uneven, 
cash, cash flow. What does it mean by uneven cash flow? As I already explained to you, the amount of amount of money is not the same. Amount of money not the same. No. Same, same every period. Okay, so as you can see here, the question asks you what is the amount of 100, 300, 300, and negative 50, okay, at year zero. So it is present value. So what you need to do is you need to use formula. Okay, you can, you can use uh, method one formula like this. Okay, uh, present value equal to 100 times one point, interest is 10%, one, okay, power of what? Power of one. Okay, it's only go back one time. Here is only one. Okay, times uh, plus uh, 300. 1.1 1 .1 power of 2 plus 300 1.1 1 .1 power of 3 this is no I'm, I'm using a wrong formula why everybody is silenced then this is wrong formula this is the future value Present value will be the future value divided by 1 plus r power of n. Okay. So for, for number 1, it will be 100 times 1 plus one, oh, not again. This is 100 divide 1.1 power of n. n for that one is only 1 plus 300 divide by 1.1 power of 2 plus and then 300 divided by 1 power of 3 plus and then negative divided by 1.1 power of 4 okay so for this okay let me put in color this one for one, two, three, four, for one, two, three, four. You get this number, one, two, three, four. Sum up all together, you get this answer. Clear? That is by using, by using a method formula how about by using table using table what you need to do is 100 times p v i f i is 10 percent one this one 300 p v i f 10 percent Two three hundred P V I F ten percent and negative fifty P V I F ten percent 
four. Okay, this is my table. And you get the same answer. Okay, and this is by using calculator. Using calculator is like this. Right. Now we move on to the again or oh, let me show interest rate compound interest rate. Okay. For this one, for this particular example, what if what if uh, the uh, interest are called interest? Are calculated more frequent. Hmm? What does it mean if, let's say, it is yearly? So it, it is n is equal one. If it is monthly, the formula will be m equal n. M if the frequency. So monthly will be twelve times one, this is frequency. Okay, frequency. So for this particular example, semi-annually. What does it mean by semi-annually? Every six months. So, M is M is equal to what? Equal to two. So two. What is it is quarterly? Quarterly. M equal four. Okay, so four times one year. Okay, so for this particular example, if you look carefully, this one, this one is annually. Annually, over here is three. But if it is semi-annually, here is six. Okay, again, you need to look at another one. I is here, it's 10. Semi-annually will be five. So, this is here. Year or period. If it is interest, so over here, of course, it is R. I'm using R, okay? Normal. This one, R divided by M. Okay, so R divided by 12. This one, R divide by 2, R divide by 4. So for this particular example, it is semi-annually. This is semi-annually, that's why 10%. Okay, for this example, it is 10% divide by 2, R divide by N.
Okay, and another thing then you need to calculate normally. Okay, clear? Yes, yes, yes. All right, good. So this is classification of interest. It's basically uh, interest. Uh, can we can look at whether it is nominal or periodic? Okay, what I have explained to you is nominal. It means the interest is calculated once a year. We call it nominal. Okay, this is nominal. This one more frequent. M O R E more. More frequent. Okay. So this is how the calculate. And this is effective rate. Okay, this is effective rate. What is effective rate? The actual amount, okay, as you can see over here. The annual interest rate actually being earned when we consider compounding. Okay, let's look at this example. Where is the example? Okay, this is effective, right? So, although let's say, let's say you are go to one place, you go to the bank, and then one bank asks you for the investment of interest 10% per year. So if it is, it is of course 10%. However, if it is calculated semi-annually, okay, if it is 10% per year, but calculated semi-annually, 10% per year, but semi-annually, so the effective rate will be, effective rate will be will be 10 point basically you earn 10.25 percent although it is told you it is stated percent per year but the real interest rate when you go and invest in a bank which calculate semi annually you will receive 10.25 percent and this 10.25, we call it effective rate. Okay, guys. How to calculate that? Let me show you this one. This is the formula. For effective. Okay, one plus one nominal, I nominal divide by M. M you already know the frequency, power of M minus one. This is the example, okay, 10% semi-annually, M is two, power of two divide minus by one, 10.25. Same as here, which is, I put the asterisk. 
here is 10, right? Two by. Okay, we we'll go to our. This is how to calculate. Basically, all right. Compounding. We go to our last. Okay, over here is basically. Again, I think you need to look at the process over here. Is when there is a zero amount over here. Do not use. Do not use uh, 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 annuity. Table. Or formula. OK, because the there is an empty space. OK, we need using an annuity if there are the number, the same period, same uh, amount. OK, so what you need to do is you need to go for calculation, normal calculation method. OK. So we move to our last one, part five, which is number five here is loan amortization. What is loan amortization? Loan amortization, basically uh, you calculate the Calculate the table. Calculate. And present. Table. Of. Loan payment. OK, this what does it mean by that's what I mean by loan amortization. OK, please look at this. OK, this is an example. OK. You borrow $1,000 from the bank with annual interest rate of 10%. And then you need to pay that $1,000 in three equal payment. Let's say you pay three three year, three equal payment. It means three, whether you want to pay it. Uh, so basically it is annual here. So you mean if you get three equal payment. So what is the first step you need to do? Step one, you need to calculate the you need to monthly or, or yearly payment. You need to calculate yearly payment. OK, by using a formula. What is the formula? Just now the formula is. Present value annuity. Where is it? The present value annuity. I think I will use that from the top part there. Where is it? Present value annuity. Where is it? This one. I don't know how to copy this one. Okay, it's okay. Okay, to calculate it, what you need to do is again I insert a picture. Okay, this is the formula. You need to calculate the formula. So the, that is the formula. Uh, present value annuity is equal to payment. One 
minus one over one plus k power of n. So what you want to do is you need to find this one. Okay, find PMT. You already know that the uh, the present value is the 1000 equal to PMT, we don't know. 1 minus 1 over 1.1 1 .1 power of 3 0 0.1 you solve that one and you get dpmt equal to 402 one one okay All right got it guys that is the first step the second step is what you need to do is you need to find interest this is the formula The interest formula is beginning balance times I. So for interest for year one, the beginning balance is 1000. Of course, the loan, the interest is 10%. So this is interest for year one, during year one. During year one. Okay, step two. What is step three? This is step three. You need to find the principal repeat. This is the formula. Okay, from principal payment minus interest. This is for, this is the payment. We already uh, figure out the payment over here. The, okay, minus the interest. Interest we figure out in step two. Okay. So this is, I put it here. Step two, this is, Three. Step. No, no, no. Step one. Step two. This is step one. This is step two. This is step three. Okay. Step four. Step four. What you need to do is. Calculate the ending balance. Okay, calculate the ending balance. Ending balance equal to beginning balance minus principal. Principal here is the step three. Okay, beginning balance is here. We get from the step two, from step two, interest but it is our initial loan okay so that is step four and present in the table
like this. Okay, this is here. One, two, three. Beginning balance, 1,000. Okay, this is principal. This is uh, step one. Step one. Step two. This is step three. And this is four. And four. Again, we will bring over that. And the process repeat again. And this is the check or counter check. Value. Need to be zero. It means that you have finished all your loan with three payment. You finish all the payment. The loan, which is you have already paid the principal. This is amount of principal. Uh, you borrow principal 1000. This is the interest that you pay within three years. The interest you pay is 206. This is your total payment for your loan and interest. $1,206. I think that's about it. OK, again, this is it show you in in a picture Okay, during year one. During year one, you can see that the principal is the principal payment. This is the principal payment. It's like the amount is small and then the amount is getting bigger. The amount is getting bigger. Why? Because the although your payment is the same every time, but you allocate it differently during year one, year two, and year three, because your one, your your loan is big, your loan is bigger, so your interest is big. Interest is big, huge. Interest. And then when your beginning balance is smaller here, you see the beginning balance is smaller. OK, when your beginning balance is smaller, then the interest also small. So it is small when the beginning balance during beginning of the year is smaller, your interest is smaller, smaller. OK. And we finish. Time for thirty one. Right, guys. Anything you want to ask? Any question? Right. So I want to ask you a few questions then. Right, I want to ask you, have you buy your textbook? Yes, doctor. Yes, doctor. You yes. already buy the textbook from Mr. Tan. Yes. Yes. Right. yes. Mm-hmm. You already buy the textbook. OK, it means that I can give you all of you already buy the textbook. You get the key already. Not all of that I didn't buy it yet. OK, you 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 need to buy, OK? All right, right. All right because I want I, I'll stop recording because I, I'll give you 